Hi everyone, it's Rob Nooner from Boost Oxygen. Uh, today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. I just wanted to give a quick update, uh, weekly update on what's going on here at Boost here in Milford, Connecticut. Uh, we are continuing to get product in on a daily basis. We're updating our stock levels. Uh, we're shipping out faster than we get it in. Uh, our, we're, we're trying to meet the customer's demands, uh, individual customers, uh, corporate customers, pharmacy customers, and uh, everyone's really working hard during this time. I really appreciate what's going on here. Um, which we're going um, virulently after price gougers. Uh, we're um, contacting with Amazon to make sure that people aren't gouging our product at this time. And uh, we're connecting with more independent pharmacies across the country to be able to get product locally uh, where people want it and uh, can access it immediately. Uh, and you know, I think the independent pharmacies and pharmacies across the country are really on the front lines of this uh, and staying open and, and dealing with uh, people who may be infected. Um, and a lot of pharmacy workers are getting infected themselves. Uh, so uh, just a big shout out to what's going on on the front lines there. And um, you, everyone's really doing God's work and, and, and appreciate it. Uh, one thing I didn't mention or haven't mentioned in the past vlogs is that uh, we have a lot of international customers as well. This is international uh, pandemic. Uh, we ship uh, to the UK, to Prague, that, serv that services all of Europe and Italy and Spain and France and we, uh, South Africa. Um, we just sent product to Australia and New Zealand. Uh, so we're sending product all around the world um, to try to help as much as we can. And uh, Again, it's, it's a question of supply and, and can we meet the demand and, and meet people's want for the product. So we're, we're doing our best, um, but uh, we really appreciate all the support that we're getting from the international community. Um, even down in South America, we're shipping down to uh, Ecuador and Chile uh, and places like that. So um, our, we're thinking about you and uh, we're definitely putting product aside and, and shipping product uh, to help everyone uh, throughout this crisis. Uh, I sat in with a, a wonderful webinar um, last week with uh, Kevin O'Leary. He hosted a uh, uh, sort of a Zoom meeting for all of his entrepreneurs that he oversees. And uh, it was quite uplifting, actually. You know, we are a new entrepreneur um, associated with, with him. And uh, he is actually a very impressive uh, zealot advocate for his uh, entrepreneurs. It was, it was tough. Well, a lot of... Uh, of the small businesses uh, that uh, under his under his tutelage are are being affected, um, and uh, he is he's really dug down and researched and 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 starting other businesses to help other small businesses capitalize. Uh, again, he's an advocate for um, the, what their rights are with uh, their landlords, and it's very nice to see, uh, very heartwarming and uh, inspiring. Uh, so again, uh, appreciate what Kevin does. I think. Uh, of, all, of all the sharks, we're, we're very fortunate uh, to be associated with him. Uh, he's, um, he's definitely a, a quality character. Uh, there are two actually interesting articles out there. We're going to repost them. I encourage you to read them. One is uh, came out uh, a study uh, between uh, the COVID-19 and, and its uh, similarities to high-altitude pulmonary edema. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time uh, servicing people at high altitude and, and how oxygen uh, really can help with altitude sickness. And it's uh, a very interesting read uh, in terms of what's going on, the similarities of, of COVID-19 and, and uh, HAPE. So uh, I encourage you to read it. It's, it's, it's a good article. And uh, the other article that actually, uh, article actually, it's a quiz um, by the World Health Organization that um, uh, basically tests people's knowledge of, of What's, how, what supplement oxygen uh, is used for. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, and, and it's, you know, again, uh, as a supplemental oxygen company, um, you know, our, our goal is just to help people. Uh, we're not curing anything. Uh, we're, we're not uh, treating anything. We're just helping. And uh, it's, it's, it's nice to see uh, other independent organizations uh, look at supplemental oxygen and what it can, how it can help. Uh, so, you know, we, our slogan from the very beginning is uh, help us here and uh, hopefully uh, we can be a, some small help uh, to people around the world. Uh, I would have to say, actually, you know, during this pandemic, uh, you know, times of stress uh, tend to bring out uh, the true colors in a, in a person. And I have to say that um, being part of this organization, every person who works here uh, has been 
absolutely fantastic. Uh, we all, to a person, have the customer's uh, best interests at heart. And I'm not talking just about the retailers, but um, the direct customers, the people um, who, who are looking for our product at this time to make sure they're getting a quality product uh, that's sanitary uh, and that's uh, at a, a, a reasonable price. Uh, looking out for price gougers, looking out uh, for people who are uh, misrepresenting uh, either our product or, or other or themselves. And uh, just to turn a quick buck and, and really, I mean, everyone's doing um, yeoman's work, really doing great things. Uh, and it, we're trying to document everything because after this, you know, we'd like to put together sort of a, a little documentary as to what happened here during the crisis to show you everything that, um, you know, all the right decisions, uh, all the good decisions, all the decisions that came from the heart that people are making uh, here at Boost Oxygen. And uh, it's... Uh, it's inspiring. It's really, uh, it's it's a pleasure to come to work every day, and uh, it's uh, something that uh, I'm very proud to be part of.